so close to him we were able to see this man so up close it was so cool we even made it to his story can you believe that we were that close <laughs> but it was definitely worth it i just need to see Vinny, and my life will be complete because polly's my boyfriend number two Vinny's number one but yeah that was Polly. Got Kings. I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about Polly D. Not about him, but like the experience yesterday. It was pretty cool, to be honest. I really enjoyed it. Like, there was like, I didn't know I was gonna be like that close to him. Because it was like my first time going to that club anyways. So I didn't know like how performances like happen and stuff like that. So the whole time I thought I was going to be kind of far from him. But like I was still going to have like a good like view of him. I didn't know I was going to be that close. So I was really cool. And then um, the only like downside I guess. It was like this girl and her girlfriend. They were like neck. At the beginning, they weren't even next to us. Like, uh, it was another couple. And then that couple decided to leave. And so, you know, the two girls, like, took their spot. But the girlfriend, one of the girlfriends was really drunk already. Like, she was really, really drunk. And she was, like, being sloppy and, like, just pushing, like, me and my friend. And we were like, bro, can you guys, like, scoot over? Because you guys have, you guys have room to the right. But a huevo querían estar, like, right next to us, you know what I mean? Because it was, like, a little huequito donde estaba solo. So, like, the girlfriend 
the drunk one, like, ella huevo quería estar en el huequito. And the other girlfriend was trying to follow her, obviously. But then I was there. And, it, like, I was, like, shoulder to shoulder with this girl. And, like, at the beginning, like, we was cool. Like, we were dancing. Like, we were even, like, vibing together. Like, we were making eye contact and stuff. And, like, we was cool. But then it got to a point where it was getting, like, a little bit too much. Like, she was, like, on me, on me. And I was, like, you know, I, and it, I wasn't even, like, able to, like, move a little bit, like, freely or, like, anything. What bothered me is that she had space. Like, next to her, she had space. But she was just next to me because her girlfriend was, like, you know, in front of me. So, I mean, I understand you're trying to, like, stay with your significant other. But, I mean, if you guys don't fit there and you guys have space to the right, like, just move over to the right, you know? Like, even if you guys are, like, like a, pe like a person behind, you know? It was just kind of annoying so i was like getting squished by her and then i decided to say something i was like hey we were here first like can you guys just please scoot over to the right and they were all trying to act dumb they were like what 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 like they weren't being like rude but like they were just saying what like acting you know like like acting like they didn't know what i was saying or like what i was talking about I was like, can you guys just please scoot over? Like, you guys are all up on me. Like, you guys have space that way. Please move over. And then the and then they looked at each other and they were like, what? And then I was like, I know my English is not that great. Like, I know Spanish was not my first. I mean, English was not my first language. But, like, I know you guys understand me. And I know you guys can hear me. Like, I'm literally, like, yelling. And then, so they didn't even move. So, you know, I was like, you know what, like, I'm not even going to let this, like, I was kind of bothered by it, but I was like, you know what, like, I paid $50 to see Polly D. He's right here, like, so close. He's playing good music. I'm not going to let this, like, ruin my mood. So, you know what, I moved. I literally just scooted over to the right where there was space, and then I was just like, I was still able to see Polly, like, fine. Like, there was literally no, mu no difference, like. But I was like, you know what, like, whatever. So I was able to have, like, a little bit more space. And, like, people kind of started leaving. So I don't know. It just felt more, like, free. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, he was playing good music. He played this one song, like, and then I got in my feelings and I was, like, crying during that song. He was playing I Don't Fuck With You. <laughs> it's not a song that you would cry to, but it's just, like, that song has, like, a meaning to me. Like, I have, like, a memory with that song so the song was like oh fuck with you you little stupid ass bitch i ain't fucking with you i was like crying i was like singing crying it was so funny i mean it wasn't funny like at the moment but i'm like i'm really crying to this song you know i'm like that's crazy it's just that every time that i go out to like the club and stuff like i try to distract myself and have a good time but like something like always reminds me of a moment or anything can trigger a memory so it was just so annoying like last time that i went to the club too two weekends ago like i left the club early because like it's just i wasn't feeling it like but then like after that song was over like i was kind of sad i was like damn but then i was like you know what it's poly d i kept reminding myself i'm like dude why am i so like i'm not gonna let anything or anyone upset me like he's right here you know like i've been wanting to go see him since last year but i wasn't i didn't have anybody to go with last year so i was like okay this year i was able to make it happen i'm here i have a good view like he's right there i'm just gonna enjoy my time so then i started like you know getting out i tried to like get my mind off of it and just really enjoy being in the moment so yeah um he was playing really good music too like he only played probably like two songs that i didn't know but everything else that he played i knew so that was pretty cool um but yeah he's so fine just like on jersey shore like it's just like you can hella see like it's crazy seeing him in person i mean you can see the botox in tv as well but like in person you're like damn like yeah he definitely got some work done but i mean he's still fine as hell so hoping to say some 
but yeah um it is currently saturday yesterday was obviously friday um yesterday ugh, i was so tired i was like yawning but i wasn't gonna leave until polly left oh my god and then yes yesterday when he left he was like san francisco guess what y'all and everybody was like what and he was like i gotta go because cabs are here and then when he said that i was like oh my god i tried recording it and i didn't get it and like at the beginning of the night i was like oh like i hope i catch him saying something like iconic right like yeah buddy or like t-shirt time cabs are here something and when he said that i was like i didn't catch it i was so mad at myself i was like oh my god like i should have been recording but yeah it was pretty cool and i should have known too because the show was like a not the, well like his time was about to end but i mean i didn't know he was gonna say like that was like a pretty cool way to end it you know but yeah it was it was cool i was kind of upset when i didn't catch him saying like the cabs are here but yeah mm. yeah that ended at two and then i went over to my friend's house to sleep over there and yeah i don't have any plans for today um it's raining it's currently raining so i came to kane's because i just left her house and I was hungry. So I've been wanting canes for a while. I specifically ate it. I'm eating it here because one, I'm hungry. And if I go home, the dogs are going to be like all up on me. And I'm going to end up giving them all the chicken. Like I already know myself. Like I'm like, oh yeah, you can have some. And all of my chicken is going to be gone. Like I already know me. So yeah, but I want to get home to the babies because it's raining so i bet they're all like bored in the trailer and i already know there's gonna the trailer's gonna be such a mess when i go inside because they've been there the whole day i don't even know if they they probably already went in outside to go pee before it started raining but we have this puppy and i know she's a hot mess the door can be wide open and then she'll still pee inside like and bachata knows how to open the door like if the door is locked like she pushes the door open like she knows how to open the door but not the other little girl and then the chihuahuas don't really don't pee inside either but yeah i just know it's gonna be a hot mess and i hope they're warm right now i hope they're inside i hope nobody's suffering cold in the rain right now while i'm eating that's all i can think about right now actually i hope they're good let me just hurry up and eat but this is my face amazing yeah bye por si eso les molesta pudranse si no denle me gusta y suscríbanse a mi canal